this video, you'll be watching an excerpt from our AutoCAD Level 1 class. I'll be talking about some AutoCAD basics, including Zoom and Pan. All right, so let's talk about those first two commands. Pan, in parentheses, it says, press your scroll wheel and move your mouse. So the quickest way to pan is to press the wheel of your mouse down. Your cursor will become a little hand symbol. When it's a hand symbol, you move your mouse and it moves that, well, it moves pretty much your whole screen. So it's not moving a single object, it's moving your whole screen around. And when you let go of the wheel, you're back to your normal cursor. Okay, so most CAD users will have a mouse with a wheel. Press it down, move your objects, and then let go. If for some reason you don't have the wheel, you can use the pan command. So if you type P, there's two locations that your typing might go. It might go to your cursor or it might go to the command line. So if it's going to your cursor, that's called dynamic input. I don't like using dynamic input for class. I like everybody getting used to the command line. So I'm gonna hit escape to cancel that. I'm gonna find the tool and turn it off. So if you go to the bottom right corner of your screen, that menu, in this menu, look for dynamic input right here. So I'm gonna make sure dynamic input has a check mark. Once it has a check mark, I'm gonna click out of the menu and down at the bottom of my screen at this um, status bar, I see it's blue. So it's a rectangle with a plus. When I hover, it says dynamic input on. So yours might be off, but anyways, mine is on. So I wanna turn mine off. And now once that button is off, if I type P, it goes to the command line and that's where I want it to be. Okay. So P, if I don't do anything else, I just hit P, it starts guessing what command I want. I could go to the command here and click on it. I could click the question mark to open the help window. Or if I know, I know I'm trying to use the pan command, I can just hit enter to run the command. So P enter runs the command. Once I start the command, my cursor is a little hand. I can use the left mouse button to grab my screen. And I'm just holding that down as I move my mouse. Okay. So instead of using the wheel, I started the pan command. I press the left mouse down, hold it, move my screen around. And then now I can hit escape to cancel that. Ad Masters offers online and classroom training for a variety of Autodesk software. For more information, go to www.cadmasters.com or give us a call at 925-939-1378. All right, so yeah, during class, I would say the fastest way to work is to press that wheel down instead of typing the command. Okay, so the next command we're gonna go over is Zoom. The fastest way to zoom is to roll the wheel in and out. So for example, let's say I wanna zoom into the bathroom here. I'm gonna put my cursor in the bathroom area and roll the wheel away from my body. That should zoom me in. And if I wanna zoom out, I can roll the wheel towards my body. That will zoom me out. Okay. So if I wanna focus on this copy room, I put my cursor in that copy room, roll the wheel away, and then roll the wheel back out. So often you're gonna be zooming in and out a lot while you're drawing. Zooming and panning should become second nature if it isn't already, but there is a zoom command that can also be useful. So let's practice the zoom command. We're not just learning the zoom command, we're also learning how AutoCAD works. So type Z, it should go to the command line, hit enter. Now we're running that command. You'll see next to Zoom, there's a whole bunch of words that have a gray box around them, right? All of those gray boxes, those gray words are options, right? To run one of those options, you can either click on it or you can type the blue letter and hit enter. 
So a lot of people think that typing is a lot faster than clicking. And it's probably true. If you memorize all these things, typing probably is a lot faster than clicking. But during class, I like clicking because then it's a visual for you guys. You can see what I'm doing. If I just type everything, it'll be too fast and you won't be able to see what I'm doing. So I like um, often clicking for class. So let's see. You can click on any of these options to run them or if you see something in the triangle brackets, that is a default. If you want to run the default option, you hit enter to run that default. Okay, so let's start off with Zoom window. So I'm gonna either, you can either click on window or type W enter. So I'm gonna click on window. So it'll tell me in the command line, specify first corner, right? So to create a window, you wanna click twice, once in the upper left, once in the lower right is typically what I do. Let's say I'm zooming into Office 107. I'm gonna click once in the upper left. When I move my cursor, there's a rectangle that follows it. Then I'll click once in the lower right. And now I'm zoomed into that location. So that was Z enter. W, enter, click in the upper left, click in the lower right. So let's try the zoom command again, type Z, enter. This time let's use extents. Extents is really useful, I use it a lot. Um, so E, enter, or click on extents. That zooms you out to see your full project, right? So oftentimes, um, we accidentally copy paste or insert, and then we get something floating out in space. And we're like, where is it? I don't know where it is. I just brought it in. Where did it go? So if you zoom extents, it might zoom you out a lot. So your project is over here and there's a speck, a little dot somewhere here. And you can zoom in and say, oh, that's that's where it went, right? So zoom extents will help you find those objects. But if you don't have anything floating in space, Z, enter. E, enter, should just zoom you to see the full project. Try zoom again, Z, enter. I don't use all of these. I use extents a lot. Um, I use window pretty frequently. Let's try window again, and then we'll try object, and then we'll try previous. So let's go to window. Let's create a window around Office 128. So I'll click upper left, lower right. Once you're zoomed into Office 128, we can try zoom again, Z, enter. This time I'm going to try object. And I'm gonna click on the chair. When you click on objects in an AutoCAD, don't click in the black space. Black space is nothing. You wanna click on the lines. So I'm clicking on the line work. After you select an object, it doesn't immediately do anything. It's waiting to see if you want to click on more objects. So once you're done selecting an object, you have to hit enter to let it know you're done. Once you hit enter, it should zoom into that chair. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to try is zoom previous. Type Z enter. And then you can use P for previous or click on previous. It should zoom you back to 128. All right, so let's all zoom extents to get back out. Okay, so we went over window, object, previous, and extents. So those are all options in the zoom command. Admasters offers online and classroom training for a variety of Autodesk software. For more information, go to www.cadmasters.com or give us a call at 925-939-1378.